uh, hi everyone welcome to road to cat 99 so through this video i want to talk to all of you uh, regarding the upcoming cat cat is just two months away or there is less than two months right to the cat and i hope your preparation is going fine but a lot of you are asking a lot of doubts on the main groups so let me clear one thing that uh, these 50 to 60 days, that is the last days, is more important than the previous 60, 120 days. The reason being is that there will be a lot of people who would leave their prep in this 60 day. And there will be a lot of people who would go one extra mile, who would push themselves to the limits to do something extraordinary or to do something more than what an average candidate is doing right now. So this will widen your gap. This will increase your percentile or decrease your percentile depending on your efforts. So you have very limited amount of time. Each day must be passing uh, very quickly for each one of you. But make sure that you utilize each day efficiently and optimize your sections at least uh, first optimize minimum 85 percent i'll make sure that you are getting minimum 85 percent because what happens almost every year that a lot of candidates miss on one section and due to this they have to repeat the cat again and again so please be focused that rather than just focusing on maximizing your overall score a lot of candidates can score very well overall but sometimes or most of the times they miss on verbal percent, uh, verbal marks, or they miss on the DLR marks. So please be focused on the DLR, VRC, or quant. So now let's talk about uh, how you should tackle the VRC, how you should tackle the quant section, and how you should tackle the DLR section. So the Akai Hills is in the VRC section, right? A lot of candidates face difficulty in the VRC section because they think that they are not able to comprehend the passage in the right manner, right? Or they think that the answer choices are wrong or they think that this section can't be improved at all. So let me be very clear about the VRC as this is one of the most painful section in the CAT for a lot of candidates. I would say no matter what is happening to you, don't believe in anything except the positive force. As of now, you don't have much time. As of now, you don't have much choice. You just have one target, that is CAT. And to excel the CAT, you have to excel the VRC section also. That is pretty clear, right? So rather than just bitching about why VRC section is so painful or whatever, just accept the results, whatever you are getting in the mocks. And every day, try to make an improvement in yourself, in your preparation, especially for the VRC. Make sure that your learnings are growing each day. And for the VRC, I would say practice at least four RCs daily. Bare minimum is four. Don't pressurize yourself by creating some unnecessary targets. A lot of practice doesn't mean that you will get good percentile. But a lot of understanding, a lot of learnings obviously will be reflected in the CAT, right? So first focus on attempting at least four RCs and make sure that in these four RC you are analyzing each and every choice of that RC. By this, I mean that whether you have marked the option correct or incorrect, First, analyze each and every question. Then in particular question, analyze each and every option that is given in that question. Right. So, for example, if there are four options, A, B, C, D, choose A after the MOOC. Think why it is correct or why it is not correct. If it is not correct, what is the reason for which it is incorrect? Same goes with B, same goes with C, same goes with B. Four passages, 16 questions, 64 choices. 64 choices are more than enough for a day. 
till the cant maintain the consistency it shouldn't be like zero attempt on one day and 128 choices on the another day no it doesn't work like that you have to be very consistent across all the days till the cat next point is for the va focus on va also don't uh, believe that this is one of the sections where you can do well or where you don't need any extra push va can make or break you really va might not break you but va can give an extra push or it's like cherry on the cake so along with the rcs you not uh, require much efforts in the va if you are uh, getting your rcs correct you not require much understanding much additional understanding for the va va would be quite similar to the rcs the reasoning is basically almost similar uh, but the type of question the type of pattern is little bit different so you might have to remove one uh, unrelated choice out of the five choices or you have some jumbled up sentences and you have to form a coherent paragraph by mentioning a sequence maybe some type of fill in the blanks or maybe something uh, extra add on this year right so for the vrc focus on four rcs at least 12 to 13 questions for the va or 10 questions for the va if you are doing all this this is more than enough also keep testing yourself by giving the mocks i didn't find any sectional for the vrc to be very helpful so i will suggest even if you want to attempt just a sectional purchase one additional test series and attempt their mock as the vrc sectional right for the dilr a lot of students are facing issues in the dilr because of low scores because of the poor time management skills because of nervousness right so these are the factors that come into play in everyone's life right when they attempt the dilr in the initial stages or even in the later stages or even one day before the cat they still can't be able to figure how to deal with such issues but dealing with such issues is very important because more than the knowledge the skills that are required in the dra section is how you apply that knowledge how better you apply that knowledge how better you manage the time right and how better you manage your nerves so you should have control on your nerves think it like this you have total 40 minutes start thinking it like this you pre assume that you will be wasting 10 minutes out of those 40 minutes by wasting of the 10 minutes i do mean that you will be doing nothing in those 10 minutes you will be just relaxing in that 10 minutes that means your 10 minutes are getting wasted right so the 10 minutes <laughs> that you would waste in the dilr at the start of the section and the 10 minutes that you waste at the end of the section have different types of impacts right for example if you wasted first 10 minutes of your dlr section you will get a lot of nervousness right you will be impatient and it might happen that due to that 10 minutes you might also waste the next 30 minutes also right so just think it like that that if you are wasting 10 minutes first 10 minutes or the last 10 minutes numerically in the absolute terms it is just 10 minutes right it is just 10 minutes you have to think like this whatever happened don't overthink about that especially while giving the mock you wasted your first 10 minutes just forget about that focus on the next 30 minutes next 30 minutes in the next 30 minutes if you are done with first set right what i mean by this thing is that you analyze the first set in 10 minutes and you found that 
you can't do that set. So now you have very limited choice. You just have three four, three sets remaining and you have to do, do any two or at least one in the next 30 minutes. At least one is very po much possible in the next 30 minutes. Two is also possible, right? Two is not that big task to do in the next 30 minutes or you can do 1.5 sets at least. So 30 minutes, two sets, you have already removed one difficult set out of your league or out of your choice. So you just have to focus on the two sets in the next 30 minutes. That is not a difficult task. If you have been giving the mocks repeatedly, that would not be a difficult task at all. What is more difficult is controlling this mind, right? There might be possibility in the actual cat that in the first 15 minutes, first 15 minutes, you are not able to do anything. You are not even able to pick up your pen or pencil at that point of time due to the pressure, due to the difficulty level of the sets, or maybe your mindset, it's such like that you can't even understand what is happening in the exam. It is, my, it is possible. You have to be very prepared for those things, for any scenario, right? So start focusing on each type of scenario. And have a solution for this type of scenario. Being nervous, being tensed, being not tempting, being losing on the hopes is not a solution at all. Believe me, why I am saying all this in the DLR section is that because I personally feel that the type of DLR sets that CAT is going to give you would not test on your prior knowledge. It would test on your immediate knowledge. How well you are able to apply that immediate, that knowledge at that point of time. It's not about seating arrangements or cubes anymore. It's about pure logical sets. You have to think for three, four minutes. And obviously, if you think like a, like a good DLR person, I would say, like if you, if you know how to go in the right direction, if you know how to eliminate the choices, if you know in three, four minutes how to make three, four alternatives and then decide on which alternatives would suit the set, then I believe the sets would the set would just take eight to nine minutes or ten minutes or maybe fifteen minutes max to max. If it's not happening in the fifteen minutes, leave the set. What happens with most of the students? They do realize in the first five minutes that this set is not of their area, right? This set can't be done by them. But still, they they try to give more and more time to that particular set. And at the end, they end up wasting a lot of time on that set. Had they left that set in the first five minutes, they would have saved a lot of time. But I don't know why you become so much connected with one particular type of set. It must be happening with, in the mocks also. Like you have four choices. Cat authorities have given you four choices and you literally don't know out of those four choices, which choices are easier as compared to others. But sometimes what happens that you, you implicitly become connected so much with one or two types of sets that you always want to do those types of sets in the first stage. Like you even haven't read the complete set or you even haven't compared that set with other sets. But still you started to do that set because you feel that after 10 minutes that set would become invisible, right? Be calm, have patience, think like a rational people that all four sets would be there for 40 minutes. It really doesn't matter which set would you attempt first and which set would you attempt later. Right? So you should be attempting the sets in that manner in which your the mind, your mind would remain calm. Right? Focus on calmness. Be calm. Even if you have wasted 10 minutes, be calm. Even if you have wasted 20 minutes, be calm. Wasted time can't be recovered at all at any cost. Focus on what you can do in the next 20 minutes. It doesn't matter that if you are getting 90 percentile, 80 percentile, 85 percentile in the next 10 minutes. No. You have to give your best, nothing else. And believe me, the day you start thinking like this, that you have to give just your best in the next couple of minutes, you will be very far from this version of yourself. I can bet on that, right? Now, moving on to the quant section. Simple story in the quant. You don't have to focus on a lot of things. 
either you know the stuff either you don't know the stuff so basically the quant section why the toppers are able to score so high in the quant as compared to other sections few reasons for that is that i have personally observed quant very closely as for the cat and i feel that there is a repeated pattern clear cut repeated pattern when it comes to the cat quant this is because they give you 22 questions to be done in 40 minutes and a lot of people are able to at least do 20 questions in attempt at least 20 questions in that 40 minutes every year it happens the reason is that if someone give gives you complete new question for the cat or for the quant you even if you are a 99.9 .9 percentiler you will take three four minutes to at least do that question if it's completely new it's first question in the cat history you will take a lot of time and there might be a chance that this type of question can be the one in those 22 questions but if this would be the question this would be the only question rest question would be very familiar right so what happens in the cat quant is either you know the things or either you don't know the things so the people who are facing the time issue right those who are taking more time or those who think that they can complete 18 20 questions had there been more time is that because you people are not familiar with the type of questions you people haven't done enough amount of practice that is required for the quant section for that if your syllabus is complete if your syllabus is incomplete that doesn't matter go to the cl past year pdf you can find that uh, in my telegram channel also that pdf has all the cat questions from 1990 onwards and those questions are segregated into different chapters start focusing on them on the priority basis from now onwards apart from that focus on past year cat from 2017 to 2022 do give them as a sectional tests after that focus on the ims mock series the especially the quant section and the dlr section of the ims test series simcat test series that would give you a true picture of your marks or of your situation current situation don't ever say to me that you are getting your potential score or you might score more than this. No, that wouldn't matter at all. What would matter is that how much you are scoring currently, how much would you score tomorrow in the mock in the mock or in the time format? How would it matter? Like if you're even able to score, uh, even if you're able to solve 22 questions out of 22 questions in 80 minutes. But the game is of 40 minutes. The game is very limited. In that game, also I noticed one more thing is that, uh, for example, there are some students who know everything about the quants, right? But still they are figuring or they are struggling with that, how to increase their score. So one mistake they are doing or probably be doing that, they are becoming very attached to each type of questions. For example, the question one appears on the screen. From that moment, they start thinking that they have to do this question because they know this question, right? And the payoff for that question is they would get three marks, right? Same for the next question. They know that question. So they feel that they should be doing that question. Again, the same funda, as I told in the DLR, that questions would be there for 40 minutes. You have to prioritize your approach because you know that you might not be able to complete all the 22 questions, right? That is very well known. So focus on those questions first. That is less time taking. The reason is that if you focus on the questions that are less time taking, your reward per minute would be much higher, right? Your reward per minute would be much higher. And... Obviously, you are leaving those questions that you know, but you are leaving those questions for the end because you know that those questions might require an additional thinking skills or might require an additional time, right? There, there are a couple of questions 
that are of difficulty level, difficult level. There are a couple of questions that are of the medium level and there are majority of the questions that might be of the easiest level. So focus on the easiest and medium level questions first and then focus on the difficult level questions, right? So don't start focusing on the uh, question number one, right? Start making choices. And believe me, you will not require a lot of time to make choices. And even if you are investing two to three minutes to overall to make choice, it would be an investment rather than wastes of the time. Right? So it's always better to do two to three questions in six minutes rather than doing just one or two questions in six minutes. So this was a thing that used to happen with me and then I realized that uh, here I'm doing a lot of mistakes. So one more tip for uh, candidates is that if you are facing a lot of issues in particular section and nothing is working for you, I will say install Zoom, start meeting, record that meeting on your camera, right? Record the screen also and after the mock, watch your reactions, watch how your cursor was moving, how many minutes you invested in particular uh, RC, in particular DLR. Could there have been a better choice? Analyze all those stuffs. It really works. At least do it for two to three mocks. And if you like that stuff, you can continue that also, even for one section also. And apart from that, be at least more disciplined for the next 50 days. I know it's tough. I know it's tough. Like you, you people have already been doing a lot of things. And uh, since January, March, you have been doing all this stuff. And for some of you, the stuff might be getting repeated. But believe me, after 50 days, nobody would ask you to touch your books. It would be all different game after 50 days. The game is just for 50 days. After that, your CAT score will define who you are. Till CAT, you all are in a herd, right? I can't identify who you are, right? I can't identify who you are because I really don't know and I really don't trust your word. But after the CAT, you will be in a separate league. There would be someone who scored 99. There would be someone who scored 98. And based on that, the further analysis, analysis would work, right? The further choices, the further doors, the further opportunities will be opened based on the CAT score only. A lot of students are worried about X, Y, Z things. Completely unnecessary things. Believe me, you also know that these things are unnecessary. But I can clearly recognize who are the people who are serious and who are the people who are just here to waste their time or to pass their time. They need some entertainment. They pose some question because they don't have anyone to talk. So the group is one of the best things to post your stuff. And they ask, they ask the fees fee of the college. They ask the selection criteria of the college. Selection criteria to be used by you or by the college. They ask whether at this percentile I would be getting a shortlist call or not are you sure that you will be getting that much percentage believe me no one can judge your percentage not even you right so it doesn't make sense really it doesn't make sense i i mean uh, i know that there would be a lot of students who would be doing that and every year the students do right but uh, through this video if one student show up doing that or if one student at least one student gain some insights from this video, I will be more than happy, right? Because this video, I know this video will not have a lot of views. I know a lot of people don't end up watching this video till the end. I know had there been some uh, entertainment videos, people, people might have shared it also, might have liked, might have commented. But really, this video might not have that great reach. But if you, if you are till here, I, I believe that you are serious because uh, in past 10, 15, 20 minutes, I just talked about the cat, cat, cat. No shit at all, right? So if you have been listening to the cat, 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 that means you are serious. You want the things to be improved, right? So if you are here, please, please make sure to comment so that I can know how many people 
are here i will not be sharing this video at any platform so if you found this video if you found this video very helpful for the upcoming cat please share this video and please mark your presence by commenting on the video i don't have any other motive i don't I really don't need reach or something to be very honest i just want a uh, few of you to gain some insights and if you like these insights i will surely come back and motivate and guide you people for the upcoming journey and for uh, those who are interested i can might get connected with you on call or on a zoom call we will uh, figure out that thank you and have a wonderful journey thank you i wish you all the best for the cat